Hi all, it is Nico Alev from Adisoft. In this video I will show you how to correctly export your ArchiCAD drawings into AutoCAD DVG files. This is done by using a translator. And uh, I will show you the process from beginning to end. First step, create a view or multiple view depending on the stories you want to export. I will export the floor plans of all three stories. We have a house, I will show you the exterior. And uh, as you can see we have, this is the north elevation, but in the south we have one, two, three, three stories which I will export now. First step, create the views. Here we have views for the stories. These are the views. And uh, if I double click on it, you will see that it loads uh, the according story. Now I will set the zoom only and uh, select all views and uh, set current zoom so that it doesn't uh, fluctuate in its view. Now each view has its according layers. I have already defined them in the um, layer combination. This is the layer combination for the floor plans and uh, of course if I turn all layers on you'll see that we have many other layers which I don't want to export for now. And uh, why do we export in the first place? Uh, we will draw the whole architectural plans in ARCHICAD but uh, by exporting we allow other engineers to work with their programs because they are not so sophisticated then they don't use teamwork or they don't use M MEP um, this is just old school stuff uh, they prefer to draw it uh, by themselves on Aut AutoCAD or other structural programs that's why I will export them to AutoCAD and send them to them so these are the views with the correct layers of course uh, this stair is uh, shown so that it marks the um, entrance to, from the garden to the main entrance here. And uh, let's see, first step create the views, we've done that already. In the view settings I've uh, assigned the plan layer combination, entire, entire model for structural display and uh, model view options is also plan which is important because it allows us to simplify the stair a bit. A stair has uh, of course um, finish, you see two lines in 3D but in the floor plan it's actually one line because I have simplified that in the model view option. That was the first step. Second step, create the translators. To create a translator you simply go to your publisher, show organizer, this is a navigator and uh, we just uh, turn on the organizer from there and then by going to publisher we have uh, three dvg files. How did I create them? I will delete them to show you. First create a publisher of course, publisher is created by clicking this button, uh, this let's see. Uh, this button here, Publisher Set. And uh, I call it uh, DVG. Double click on it to open it. And just uh, drag and drop these uh, views. It will create a shortcut for them. Notice that whenever I change the name of one, like, uh, it uh, automatically updates. too many O's and uh, that is uh, the publisher set I will export later. I will also export the section actually. Let's see the section. So I will export the section as well. Go to the same composer. Uh, composer. <laughs> too many cookies tutorials can do that to you. Not composer, it is publisher in this case. So I will just drag and drop uh, the section as well. We will 
Now in format I will change it to DVG and in DVG settings we see that we have another option here this is the translator. I will choose the plant translator and for the section I will choose the elevation translator. Now how do you define translators? Obviously you won't have A19 elevation and A19 plan in your translator list. By going to translators you will be able to change them. For instance you start with uh, this for further editing uh, which you will have it is uh, built in in ArcCAD and you duplicate it. You rename it and uh, let's call it A22 plan and uh, in the settings you will of course be able to change some of them. And that's how you duplicate a translator. I don't suggest duplicating it. When you use this, I suggest starting from scratch. So I will delete this. Delete the A22 plan and create new. And uh, I will save it as a physical file. First I will take this path, copy it, create new and paste it here and create a 22 plan as a physical file. And now I will of course change it, uh, file format will be uh, AutoCAD 22004, uh, images original format, paper space with drawing says blocks, yes. Model space. Yes, I will save the layouts. Drawing unit, uh, never forget that in AutoCAD it is 10, 1 to 10, because uh, the, the model in AutoCAD is in centimeters actually. So I will use it uh, here to make sure that it is 10 millimeters, 1 centimeter. And uh, let's see, the most important uh, section is the attributes, where you have layers, pens, line types and fills. You can send the doors, like uh, I will send the doors to this layer, windows to that layer, skywires to this layer and cover fills will be sent to uh, this layer. And uh, I basically say where each element goes and you can as you can see very specifically say where each element goes I will export the zone outlines to 0 0 because they are not necessary they are just polygons around the zones I will delete them later and uh, zone steps of course in this layer and in this layer. I will just type the layer name. You can always open the AutoCAD project. I will do that now. Here we have a sample AutoCAD project which I exported for other house I designed. And uh, as you can see, the layer list is uh, very clean. We don't have any archicad layers there. That's because we used a translator of course. So in the translator options you just specify the layers here in archicad and in autocad. This is a table that you will always use. And uh, let's select this layer for instance and in the dvg side we will specify this layer which I have in the drawing which I opened. And you check the drawing and uh, you check how each layer want, want you want to be symbolized. The walls will be in zero uh, double. And so you fill this list. Next in pens and colors you just uh, specify 
conversion table if you need or if you don't use this it will use the pen of the layer in AutoCAD the best matching I will use and uh, set all element color and line lets to by layer and then the pen conversion table will not be used line types same thing we set them by layer fills methods and so we can export them as the view is in ArchiCAD or just use a specific view conversion table like we will use here we have a view here and we will export it as solid and we set all fields we want to export as solid we select them this one will be solid as well and some other fields and in miscellaneous in a font style of course I will set the font some fonts Let's see. We have Arial Narrow in AutoCAD. Style will be AC. Now I will use uh, with this one which I already created. And uh, DVG, I will set the path where it will be exported. And uh, create flat folder structure. Create single file. Set for the structure is uh, that you want just these files to be created without any other folders and click publish of course so now we exported the drawings and uh, you see the result we have uh, this is a section of course and uh, we can see the floor plans as well And let's check the layers. This 99 layer is a bit strange. Let's see. It shows up every time. Doesn't matter to me. Alright. Now this this of course will be deleted. You notice that every everything is uh, exploded here, but the walls are blocks, and that's why we need to first let's delete this as well. We need to first uh, before merging them to one drawing, which I will do later, explode the whole drawing. And uh, useful command for this is burst. It will explode all blocks, and if they have attributes, it will simply create a text. So we click burst, and we select everything several times until it's ready. Now you see that the elements are lines and uh, fills, and lines here as well. We took all elements from the first story already, and we go to the our drawing and paste it. We go to the drawing and paste it. We go here and paste. And the section. Now we select all dimensions, select similar, and uh, change their dimension style. And that's it. Uh, this is the whole process how to export your ArcCAD drawings into AutoCAD with a very simple procedure. To recap, these are the steps. First, create the views, views of the drawings you want to export. In this case, I created three views for the floor plans and one view for the section. Second step, create a translator. This is done by going to the organizer and, of course, creating a new translator with layer tables and other options. Third step, create a publisher set. This is done by going to the navigator, going to publishers and create a new publisher and drag and drop the views. 
and fourth step export to AutoCAD and edit the elements as I showed you in this video. So it's Nicole from Adisoft signing off and wishing you inspiration in your practice. Make sure that you watch my other related content for QGIS, AutoCAD and ARCHICAD. And I hope you see this uh, video as uh, useful for you and um, post your questions below, I will answer them as soon as possible. And uh, this is the reason why I create these videos to help build a community of very proficient and people that enjoy their work and what they do. So, see you in the next video.